Today's tutorial is all about the gradient and directional derivative of a function. So remember the gradient or grad of, of a function of two variables produces a vector field where the components of that vector field are just partial derivatives. And the directional derivative is just an extension of a partial derivative. And the flexibility with a directional derivative is that you can look at the, the change in f in lots of different directions. So we're going to work our way through some of the key problems today. So I've um, you know, prepared a few. We'll discuss a few. Um, so let, let's start off pretty simply. I'm going to start with 58. And um, we, can, we can have a go. So 58 has sort of three parts to it. I'm only going to do um, the one involving the function x, y. So suppose you've got this function of two variables. Calculate the gradient of f. Graph some level curves. f equals a constant. And indicate grad f at some points on the level curve. So this is a good question because it tests a couple of things associated with the... Um, with the gradient. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay. So the first part of the question is calculate the gradient of f. So by the, uh, the subscripts, of course, I mean differentiate with respect to... So f sub x means df dx. So if we differentiate partially with respect to x, we're going to get y. And if we differentiate with respect to y, we're going to get x. So look at the output. We started with a function that is just real valued, and we're outputting some vector some vector field or some vector valued function. Okay, that's what the gradient does. It takes something real valued and turns it into something that's vector valued through this operation. Right, the second part of the question was graph some level curves of this function. So we'll just be graphing them in the xy plane. So consider x, y equals a c, which is a constant. So let's start off simply. If c is 0, what does that give you? Well, it gives you x, y equals 0. So either x is 0 or y is 0. So that means you're going to get the coordinate axes in the case c equals 0. x equals 0 or y equals 0. So... we get the uh, axes, the coordinate axes. OK, I'll draw them in in a second. Now, if C, say, is anything other than 0, we can rearrange this and turn it into something we, um, I guess, can consider. So this then, well, for, if, for different values of c, what's y equals c on x going to give us? What kind of curves? Hyperbole. Yes. Very good. Hyperbole. So Okay, so let's draw some in the xy plane. Okay, so the coordinate axes are the case c equals 0.
Okay, so if we say c equals 1, we're going to get something like um, y equals 1 on x. So that's going to be like that. Okay, c equals minus 1. Okay, so we're going to get these kind of curves. Okay. So I've drawn in a few of those. You can keep you can keep drawing them in if you want to, like this, blah blah blah. Right. Now the final part of the question, part C. Whoops. Indicate grad F at some points by arrows on these curves. So you've got a vector at vector field here, and you want to draw in the associated vector at some point on the curve. Okay, so I'm actually going to choose um, a, the, a simple case. So I'm just going to re redraw this. Now, what's the relationship between the gradient, or grad F, and the level curves? Who can tell me? What's the geometrical relationship? Yes. Right, they're normal, right? So, if I just consider, say, the point 1, 1, this gradient vector is going to be the vector 1, 1. So if I draw it in, it'll go from here to here. And I'm noting that the gradient vector is perpendicular to the level curve, okay? So if I was to draw, say, a tangent vector in there, I would get a right angle. Perpendicular or normal to... Okay, let's draw in another one, just, just to, you know, for a little bit more completeness. So, so, so here's another level curve. You see this, this corresponds to the case C equals zero. Well, at this point, at the point x equals a one, y equals zero, my gradient vector is going to be one comma zero. So it's going to point straight up like that. Okay, so I know the, the writing's a bit small there. Again, it's perpendicular to the level, that particular level curve. <coughs> Any questions? Okay, you can draw more in if you want to. You have another one, you'll have another one, say up here, and it'll be pointing that way. Okay? <coughs> 